This is going to be a look at two very popular pass concepts that have been used in the NFL preseason or at college, high school, at any level, to be honest with you. They're uh, reliant on or have characteristics of a shallow cross or a shallow drag. I'm going to show two plays of each, I think. First one's going to be mesh. I do refer to this uh, constantly in my videos. I'll let the play run through one time. It's going to be a completion to the slot receiver up to the top side. Uh, mesh is characterized by two underneath drags or underneath crosses, whatever you want to call them. And one thing that I have noticed about mesh is, and I have, I have said this many times in my videos, is that typically the drag that is open, so, so just so you know, this is the high side drag, the tight end, and then this is the low drag. And the good thing about it is you can use this concept against man or zone and it can be successful. The route that, in my opinion, is the most dangerous or, or open the most often is the drag coming from the opposite side of the running back. Because what occurs in my experience or my observation, that running back running out here to the left flats this time is going to clear out or open a whole bunch of space and create a void for that drag from the other side to run onto. Now, <clears throat> one thing to mention here about you know the man-to-man, -man, when you get man, like you clearly have here, and this is the under drag, the job of the top side guy is to make sure that this defender goes either under him or over him, either way, but isn't allowed to stick right to that slot receiver in a manner. And you can see this, this DB has already recognized it, You'll see, I'll, I'll pull this back just for a moment. You'll see he recognizes it and goes underneath of 89, the tight ends, you know, high side drag. Another um, element to this in mesh is you have a late developing or later developing sit route, usually in between the hashes. Sometimes it's a tight end, sometimes it's a receiver. But in any case, you've got two shallow drags a sit route in the middle of the field in between the hashes, and then a running back who is creating space to one side of the field. Here's the running back to Carolina's right against Washington in the preseason. Who's open? The slot receiver, DJ Moore, from the other side. So it's the route that originates from the opposite side of the running back. Now, this is a Ravens channel, and I try to relate things to Ravens plays and concepts and players. This is the route that's been open for the Ravens for the better part of a year plus, and that we are not hitting enough of. So I'm talking about this route right here that's completed to DJ Moore in that open space. That's the route, the, the underneath drag that we are not completing. And there are people who have pointed it out, myself included, but others way smarter than me in their content have pointed it out that that's one of the things that Lamar doesn't do a great job of is on the mesh concept, understanding which guy should be the one to get open? Now, let's talk for a second about the defense. This is zone, so the, the pick or the rub concept isn't working in the exact same way because you don't have a trailing defender, this linebacker, running underneath of it. He's passing off DJ Moore's route because it is a zone. doesn't matter. You can still defeat zone concepts with it. You don't have the, the, the late uh, sit route in between the hashes, but that's the mesh concept. If you've heard me refer to it in videos, I'm going to try to do some of these so that as I explain concepts um, in my reaction videos or just talking about plays, maybe in a commentary vid, people have a little bit of a background of what it is. That's mesh. It's characterized by two underneath crossers and a, and a sit route in between the middle of the field and a running back essentially clearing out space. If you watch the Penn State-Purdue game Thursday night, Penn State's first touchdown to Mitchell Tinsley was on a, um, a mesh concept. He was the underneath drag, and their last touchdown was on a mesh concept, except they threw to the running back. All right, shallow cross, a little different. Um, same <clears throat> concept, though. You have a shallow drag or cross, but this time it's originating from the same side as the running back. So this receiver running the shallow cross, and then you have the running back flaring out to that side. I'll pull this back one more time in a moment. So it's different from mesh, or at least the, the point that I'm trying to make that it's different from mesh is that the guy who's open is running op, an opposite flow of the running back. You have the high sit route from the tight end here. This is the Eagles starters, by the way, All right, the first drive of the game 
against the Jets. Jalen Hurts, I think, was uh, five of six passing, scored a touchdown on a scramble, and then threw one after that scramble was called back. Let's look at shallow cross one more time. Uh, the Giants against the Bengals. So you've got the running back on the right. So my contention is that the guy who's generally going to be open is this receiver here. And you got the high sit route by the tight end. The outside receivers, it honestly doesn't necessarily matter. I mean, it's not like the quarterback can't throw the ball to them. It's just generally not a part of the read progression. If the quarterback were to go up top on this play here to this guy, this is just called, okay, I've got a matchup here. I think I can win. Let me take a shot up top. The read progression is middle of the field and then running back late. And you can see the running back flaring. It's man, by the way. The, the shallow cross or drag here, and then the sit route by the tight end is who is targeted. Uh, the tight end there is being guarded by Dax Hill, by the way. Uh, tremendously talented safe, young safety out of Michigan. Tight coverage here. Challenges the catch. Uh, tight end still able to pull the football in. That's the shallow cross concept. Third and final time I'm going to show you that. Arizona against the Ravens running back here. Flare out to this side, tight end, high sit route in the middle. I believe it's the slot receiver here who runs the shallow drag or the cross. He's getting out there. They're expanding the width of the defense. They're trying to give the inside linebacker some eye candy here with this high sit route or low sit route, actually, and then bring this guy underneath to get the football to him somewhere out here between the top of the numbers and the hash. And Josh Ross, the inside linebacker, who's playing great for the Ravens, by the way, is a little bit uh, behind on this, but the, you know, the ball is not caught. Depending on the coverage, you know, shallow cross can work against man or zone as well. Quick little video here on two concepts, mesh and shallow cross. I didn't really talk about the outside receivers, to be honest with you. They're not a part of the read progression generally. In these concepts, but you can see tagged pass concepts at times where you like for the for the shallow cross where you have the low sit route shallow cross and you have the running back flaring out on like a swing route. And then you have some uh, late developing dig, you know, from the other side of the field that's a, that could be a, a late part of the progression if the quarterback gets time. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoy these videos with conceptual names of pass concepts. I don't always use the Madden names, to be honest with you. So there's times where myself and another person are speaking accurately, but we're not speaking the same language. It's not that I'm wrong or that person is wrong. It's just that we don't have the same uh, background in terms of where our football terminology comes from. Mine comes from a particular system. Again, you know, Madden or other NFL concepts maybe name things differently. Uh, I believe these here are generally accepted, the two that I've given you today, Mesh and Shallow Cross. If you would like for me to do some other conceptual videos on pass plays or run concepts, please let me know. I do have one loaded up um, and ready to go for probably Sunday afternoon on a power and power read, something that the Ravens and the Eagles run, ran a lot of in 2020 and 2021. Appreciate you guys checking out the video if it's your first time uh, watching one of my videos and you enjoy the content. Please subs consider subscribing to the channel.